My name is Zach Smith. <laughs> uh, trying to like not smile. My name is Zach Smithy. It's a known fact that rich people save and invest their money and poor people and middle class people spend their money when they get it. So why would you give more money to people who save and invest their money rather than giving it to people who are going to spend their money and share it with others? So I never thought that I was going to be an art teacher. Never thought about it at all. And then I graduated with my BFA and thought, well, in six months, I'm going to have to uh, start paying for my student loans, and I don't know how I'm going to do that. So I thought about it for a couple days and thought, I'll just go back to school and become an art teacher. That summer, I took two classes and uh, landed this job by the end of the summer. Teaching art is cool because I am an artist and I get to teach that every day. That's what I'm studying. But my upper level classes, I really like those too because those students want to be in my class learning art. I think Smithy as a teacher is really innovative in trying to help people be the best that they can be. I think that he uses his own art experience to really help people succeed and to push them forward, to push them into new directions. He helps them not just stay in the same place, in the same like high school art idea. He tries to push them into the more professional idea of art. Smithy has impacted my life by helping me to be just a more creative person in general. and not only in art, but we have, we created Philosophy Fridays and that has helped me like be able to discuss and think creatively about not just art, but just ideas about the world in general. And it is important in art to do that because he's helped me like be able to incorporate philosophy into art. I've had Smithy all four years, so the way he's impacted my art is he's um, encouraged me to go big and to really focus on my ideas and do the best that I can. Mr. Smithy has impacted my life by uh, helping me realize that I can be a really good artist, that maybe I have a future in it, and that I'm not just a student in high school trying to do art. The materialization of sound is a subjective view from me to try to comprehend the vibrations of sound and color and paint. I've been studying um, synesthesia for the last few years and this series of work. And it kind of started back when I was in high school, middle school. I always wanted to make <clears throat> art that brought to life the music on the sheet. Synesthesia is the anomaly where it's the mixing of the senses. And there are like 50 different types of synesthesia. And I'm studying sound, uh, yeah, sound vision synesthesia. People who hear sounds and see colors because the nerves attached to the cilia in their ears also run to their occipital cortex so when they hear sounds they see colors and I'm studying that in my paintings. Once every two to four weeks I have an open studio out at my studio in Maryland Heights 
It's a 6,000 square foot studio dedicated to all things creative. Whether you're a scientist, a mathematician, a philosopher, a writer, I want this to be a place where creative minds come to share ideas and to collaborate, work together. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely in inspired by many different artists, but I believe that we are a culmination of our experiences. And so everything in my life that I've experienced has come together to make me who I am. And it's kind of like chaos theory. There are way, way too many factors involved to point at one factor and say that this is the cause or this was the one that changed everything. Because I've been making art since I could hold a mark making utensil, whether that utensil was a crayon on paper or a stick carving into the dirt, I was creating. And I never really knew the meaning of it until later on in life. I just did it because that's the way my mind worked. That's what I did. I guess as an artist, I face all the same struggles that other working artists face. Trying to be able to balance creating my work and being able to afford to create my work and being able to afford to live a normal life. My big, biggest inspiration is Michelle Spencer because, no, let me think about this. <clears throat> Huh? You're going to put that in there? Yeah. It's cool. <laughs>